Here's a brief overview of the DMXs and DPRO online fixture library. We have one library which is common to both DPRO and DMXs customers. The first thing you have to do is create an account in order to use it. Once you've accepted the terms of use, enter your details and you'll be emailed the confirmation to allow you to then log in to the library. When you log in, you'll see two new windows. The My Fixtures window lists the fixture definitions that you have created, and they can either be private to yourself or published so that they are available for the general community to use. And that's where the second window comes in, which is the public fixture database. This is a list of every fixture that's been created and shared so that all DMXs and DPRO users can access them. If you're a DMXs customer, you can download from the public fixture database by selecting the fixture you want and click download for DMXs. This will download a zip file containing the fixture definition file which you then copy into the DMXs fixture library. DPRO customers have a more direct access into the database you can download fixtures directly from the patch window within DPRO itself. To create a new fixture, click on New under the My Fixtures window and this will open the Fixture Editor. This single window is where you define the entire fixture profile and it's a case of transcribing the information from your fixtures manual into this page. Let's have a quick run through creating a fixture. You would choose a manufacturer and give it a fixture name. Enter a description which can be anything you like. A fixture will have at least one mode, for example a simple RGB Parkan may have a red, green, blue mode which takes up three channels, like so, and each channel has a range of 0 to 255. You may also have, for example, a five channel mode which has more features, perhaps a dimmer channel as well as the RGB channels, and maybe a strobe channel and the strobe channel may have several ranges across the 0 to 255 range for example 0 to 20 could be a fixed setting for switching the strobe off, followed by a variable range from 21 to 255, which is the strobe speed. That would be variable. At this point, you can choose whether to keep the fixture private, if it's a custom fixture of no interest to anyone else, or if you are working on the fixture and don't want to share it with anyone else, just leave this box unchecked. If you're using DMXs, click on the export button here and this will download the zip file for you containing the fixture definition. DPRO customers again can import their fixtures directly from DPRO itself within the patch window. If you want to share the fixture with uh, the community, just check that box and say done and you'll immediately see if we scroll down here there's our fixture and that's now available to everyone else to download and use within their shows that's a quick overview I'll come back with a more detailed video showing you what all the fields in the editor do and uh, how they're used within DMXs and DPRO